Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. Let's give God some praise right about now. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. We want to thank him for allowing us to see another week. The good, the bad, everything belongs to God. Amen. Amen. He has a plan. Yes, he, does. he has a plan. So let's trust him this morning. Amen. 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 Because he knows our name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord.
are you all that your name is all that all that you are and all that you be everyone here and those that are worshiping with us in our virtual sanctuary we greet you and we say thank you for coming to worship with us this morning we know that you did not have to but you pressed your way so we want y'all to let go and let god amen hallelujah let him go let go and let god have his way in your life amen amen, amen. amen. so put your hands together as we bring forth our pastor amen, amen. Praise the Lord, everybody, amen. amen. Let everything that has breath, praise, the, praise Lord. the Lord. The Lord name be praised. Praise God. As we enter into his courts, we come with praise and thanksgiving for, for the Lord has been extra good yes, Lord. to us. He's been all that, amen, to us. And our keeper and our provider, sustainer, our healer, our uh, Waymaker, our Watchman at night. Amen. Uh, he's been good. He's yes, been Lord. gracious. He's been benevolent in being himself to us. And we bring some praises yes, amen, to the Lord today. Amen. Uh, amen. We, we also bring thanks, yes. amen, to the Lord. For the Lord has been good and still is good. Yes, he is. We are yet alive and in the land of the living, and the Lord has protected us down through the years and even protecting us today. God is great yes, and greatly to be praised. Amen. Amen. Thank you, praise team, for uh, blessing us Amen. with uh, praise and worship this morning. And we are now ready to continue to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such. Amen. We've already been told and we've been welcome and we've already been told, let go and let God. Amen. Amen. Let God have his way in this service. Amen. Never mind everybody else. It's just 
you and God. Amen. Amen. Right now. Uh, we're going to open with a hymn of praise, 369 in your hymnals. Amen. If, if you can stand, that would be great. If you can't, it's okay. God accept your praise. Anyway, you can get it to him. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Oh, heir of salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, oh, washed in his blood. Oh, this is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, uh, praising my Savior. Oh, perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture now burst on my side. Angels descending, bring from above, echoes of mercy, oh, whispers of bless you for your pressing your way out and for those that are viewing by way of virtue God bless you for bless you for your attendance today uh, it's prayer time and as I go to the Lord you in prayer you do it too and you solicit God for the things that you need in your life today and days to come if he admits it let us pray. To 
the God that has no comparison. To the God that declares that there was no God before me and there will be no God after. And to, so Lord, we, we come recognizing that you are the only God, the living God, the true God, the creator God, the sustaining God, the God of grace, the God of mercy, the God of all might and power. Hallelujah. The God that knows everything. The God that knows our thoughts before we thank them. Our actions before we act on them. God, you know all things. We come humbly before you, Lord, with gratitude in our hearts because you've been Lord good to us and we, we we praise you we bless you we honor you we reverence you today because you you are our life without you we can do nothing without you we couldn't get out of bed we couldn't use our feet and hand and go from place to place Unless you allow it. God, we thank you. We thank you for being a holy God. We thank you, Lord, for re requiring holiness in the lives of your people. God, we need you. We need you right now. We need you today, Lord. We need you in our society. We need you in our nation but most importantly Lord we need you in our churches again so that we can honor you again and praise you again and trust you again and depend on you again praise you with all we have so we can seek you again with our whole hearts that we can repent again to you so you can forgive us of our many transgressions that we have committed from time to time God we ask for your mercy and forgiveness today. Continue to speak to us in the ways you do, through the elements of your creation, through floods and fire and tornadoes and hurricanes and tragedy. You speak. Lord, help us to listen to the ways you speak to us. You speak to us by the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of your word, the power of witnessing through believers. Give us ears to hear what thus saith the Lord. Speak now, Lord, for your children are listening today. Speak in the ways you can. Speak in the ways that we can understand. Speak in the ways that we can hear you. Speak in the ways that we know that it's you. Speak, hallelujah, Lord, for we are your children. We are listening for a word from you. A word to help us. A word to sustain us. A word to heal us. A word to give us hope. A word for direction. A word to help us persevere. A word for us to be steadfast and immovable, always abounding in your work. Give us ears to hear what the Spirit saith to the church in these evil days. Hey, God, help your children hear what the Spirit saith to the church. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for the sick and the suffering for among us, people we know by name. People we know that are home or sick in the hospital, that are sick in nursing facilities, that are sick even in prisons, Lord. We pray for the incarcerated, Lord, wherever they are, however they are, whoever they are, we lift them up to you. Ha! Huh? God, we know that you can go anywhere, everywhere, and be anywhere and everywhere at all times. And so, Lord, we're not asking you to go, but we just ask you to show yourself today. In Jesus' name, hear us and thank you. We pray. Amen. And amen. Amen. 
We're going to ask our scripture now to be read by Evangelist Daily. Uh, scripture reading will be coming from the book of Mark, St. Mark, the very first chapter, verses 1 through 8. St. Mark, chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. And read as thus. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and it was written in the prophets, Behold, I sent my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare the way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preached the baptism of repentance for the remission of sin. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem, and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan, confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with a girdle of a, of a skin about his loins, and he did eat locusts and wild honey, and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchets of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Verse 8, I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. The word of God for the people of God. Yes, God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. Thank you, uh, Evangelist Staley, for the reading of the word of God. Amen. We're down to announcements uh, by Ms. Gail Jarvis at this time. Good morning again. We're asking us to please tag, like, and share our worship service this morning. Friendly reminder, intercessory prayer is every Tuesday at 8 o'clock a.m. via our conference call. Our Word Lovers Bible study is every Wednesday via Zoom at 7 o'clock p.m. We are reminding you that Children's Church will resume second Sunday in February. Also, this is coming from Sister Frida, Frida Smith, a chairperson of Next Gen One. If you are interested in working with Next Gen One or the children's ministry, please let Sister Frida Smith or Sister Pearl know as soon as, soon as possible. They are seeking volunteers. Again, they are asking if you're interested in working with Next Gen One or part of the children's ministry, which is every second and third Sunday, Please let Sister Frida Smith or Sister Pearl Thompson know they are seeking volunteers. Friendly reminder, SAGE will be meeting via Zoom this afternoon at 5.30 p.m. Coming from Chairperson Sister Janelle Mitchell, SAGE will be meeting this afternoon at 5.30 via Zoom. If you would like to provide altar flowers in honor or in memory of a loved one on, that will be here on the first or third Sunday, please let Sister Holmes know. Um, so if you have someone you would like to honor and do a flower, altar flower, let Sister Holmes know, and they will be displayed for first and third Sundays. Anyone turning 70 this year, please let Sister Shirley Wright know as soon as possible. If you are scheduled, oh, you're not scheduled, if your birthday will, will be, um, have you turned 70, please let Sister Shirley Wright know. Also, if you have an address change, phone number change, or name change due to marriage. Please give this information to Mrs. Wright as well. Um, they are updating the database, so please, 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 if there's an address change, phone change, or name change due to marriage, please let Mrs. Wright know this as well. Again, the TREMC will be sponsoring the 50% discount on all outstanding balances through the end of January like they did before, but this time it will be through the end of January. So if you have any outstanding balances at TRMC Hospital or any of its affiliations to include the doctor's offices or ancillary services, please contact the Regional Medical Center in their financial department and they will give you a 50% discount on all outstanding balances. For further information, please see Sister Lorraine Muhammad Fields. As you know, on last week, we did give out our COVID protocol folders. If you were not in attendance on last Sunday and you would like to get this, 
please get one after service this morning, one per household. Our folders have our COVID protocol as far as testing, returning to worship, and dismissal of the congregation. So please see Sister Holmes, I'm sorry, Sister Pepper at the end of service so that we can give you this folder if you were not in attendance on last Sunday. The Rickenbacker itself, Alzheimer Foundation members would like to thank those who supported the candlelight vigil that was held on December 17th. Special thanks to Ms. Latrina Holmes and Dr. Lily Hilda Britt who appeared on the program. All funds raised were donated to the Alzheimer's Association for the re research and the event was very enjoyable. This is coming from Ms. Gloria Hutto, Mr. William Green, Mr. Vinnie Robinson, and Mr. Cletus Robinson. And they are looking forward to the next event and your continued support. Happy birthday to all born in the month of January. Happy birthday to our wisdom member, Ms. Lathine Turkvan, who will be celebrating 78 years on Thursday, January 19th. Ms. Lathine Turkvan will be celebrating 78 years on Thursday, January 19th. Happy birthday to you. Please remember to keep all sick and shut in members in your prayers, special prayers of healing this morning for Sister Rebecca Harrison, who is currently hospitalized in critical condition at the TRMC. Um, we're asking you to please keep Ms. Rebecca Harrison in your prayers and lift up Sister Angela Williams and family during this, these trying times. So lift up Ms. Rebecca Harrison. And let's continue to pray for all those in bereavement. Praise, please pray for the Miller Turkvan family, which again is our Turkvan family. They lost their first cousin, uh, Miss Quincy Miller. So please keep the Turkvans in your prayer during their time of bereavement. Thank you so much. And at this time, Pastor Carter, I will turn it to you. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Ms. Jarvis, for our announcements. And uh, let us... Uh, uh, adhere to the announcements that have been uh, mentioned uh, today. I um, want to also add to the announcement that there will be an in-person administrative board meeting on next Saturday, uh, January 21st. Um, in person right here, of course, at St. Stephen. Uh, we'll hopefully it will not be uh, a long board meeting, but we're going to do what we need to do. And uh, we ask all officers to attend. Um, yeah, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. We, uh, we want to do it, uh, you know, in the daytime. And many of us don't see well at night. Amen. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know about y'all, but I don't see. Anytime you wear, you, you got to drive with two glasses or so eyeglasses. On. I'm just kidding, okay. All right. Um, I want to recognize uh, some committees that are operable in our church. And you, you all know the committees, but let me uh, give the names under particular committees and then we'll just do a prayer. If you are present, you can stand if you want to. That's your desire if I call your name. Committee on Nominations and Leadership Development, uh, Ms. Mrs., uh, jo Mrs., Mrs. Joanne Abram, Shawana Riley, Lamont Green, Gloria Hutto, Deborah Myers, Linda Larkin, and Mildred Referino. Okay, God, I messed that up pretty bad. You, you gotta write your name down for me, honey. Um, I appreciate that. Mildred, okay. Wow, where I get this referendum from? <laughs> Forgive me for that. Okay, uh, the committee on, huh? Somebody says something? Okay, committee on staff, uh, the, the PPRC uh, committee, um, uh, Dr. Hibbler, Britt, Tatiana Pepper, Frida Smith, Iwanda Burton, Shaquilla Mack, Anaju Muhammad, Rex Larkin, Trina Turkvan, Knowlton Green. 
lay member to the annual conference, Evangelist Sharon Staley, alternately leader Frida Smith. Trustees uh, committee or board, Miss um, Dorothy Cobbs, Michael Felder, Michael Pepper, Sammy Fields, Israel Wiles, Edward Lamont Green, Joseph Pepper, and Shamise Shuler. We have uh, a hospitality committee, and uh, th there are names that are, goes with this chairperson's name. I don't have their names before me. I don't want to call out the wrong names. And, but Ms. Janice Harrison is over that hospitality committee. Amen. If I miss any name, let me know. Um, sometimes we do that. Sometimes the computer doesn't get the names. Whatever, whatever. I'm gonna blame the computer. <laughs> Amen. I do want to uh, pray for our leadership, and we've recognized our officers on last year. Um, uh, excuse me, on last Sunday, for for this year, 2023. I also want to recognize a Reverend Abram, uh, who is always in attendance with us here and there, and uh, God bless you, sir. And um, you, 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 uh, you, I know you're still a soldier. You can't get out of this army. <laughs> bless you, sir, for being present when you are. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you for the privilege and the opportunity to, first of all, be saved by grace and then we thank you for being in the kingdom of God and we are gracious to be in your church and Lord we just thank you for opportunities to serve in your church in various capacities we are thankful help us not to take these opportunities and privileges for granted but to be humble by them, that we may participate, Lord, in your kingdom with the spirit of liberation, with the spirit of salvation, with the spirit of direction, the spirit of hope, and the spirit of faith. Trust in you in all things. For we realize that without you, we can do nothing. Thank you now for these privileges and opportunity to serve your church for your glory. Hear us and thank you now. And we ask these things to be done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you. We want to say uh, happy birthday day to all who have been scheduled <laughs> to have one. And thank God we have a scheduled birthday. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is there a song? Uh, oh, tithe and offering. Let me do that. Um, I want to read a scripture out of uh, Matthew uh, chapter 6 verse 19. And it's uh, 19 and 20. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust does corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Verse 21 as well. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Amen. Those who have an envelope, those who are going to give, those who have give, give, given already, those who don't have to give, we uh, invite you to be a part of this prayer. Uh, let us pray. Father, we thank you for the you know, opportunity to give to you and your kingdom again, over and over again. And we thank you, Lord, for providing for us everything we need for life and for godliness. We thank you. 
Bless now, Lord, our giving. Oh, God, help us to continue to be faithful to your kingdom, to your church, because you've been faithful to us. Oh, God, we depend on you. We trust you to be our sole provider. And, Lord, because you have provided for us all we needed for life and for godliness, we just offer thanks to you and an opportunity to give back just a little bit back to your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Is there a song? We're going to, okay, very good. We're going to have a song at this time. Praise the Lord again. It's just a praise time, amen? It's time to give God that due praise, amen? How many of y'all know that it's gonna, if it's going to happen, only God can make it possible, amen? Jesus makes it possible. The, more I, the older I get, the more I realize everything is in God's hands, amen? Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together, amen? Well, tell me who do you think woke you up early this morning? Nobody but Jesus. He made it possible. Yes, he did. Tell me who do you think started you on your way? Nobody but Jesus. He made it possible. That's why we are to serve. Got to serve him. Oh, we got to serve him better. You're going to say that one more time. Tell me who do you think put food on your table? Nobody but Jesus. He made me. Yes, he did. Tell me who do you think woke you up early this morning? Nobody but Jesus. He made it possible. That's why we ought to serve him better. Oh, we got to serve. I want to ask you. Tell me who do you think started you on your way? Nobody but Jesus. He made it possible. Thank you, Lord. Oh, tell me who do you think? Yeah, put you in your right mind. Nobody but Jesus. He made Possible. That's why we ought to serve. Serve him. Are you giving him your best this morning? That's why we ought to serve. Oh, well, Jesus made it. Jesus made it possible. Jesus made it possible. Jesus made it possible. Yes, he did. Jesus made it possible. Jesus made it he woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. Yeah. He didn't have to do it. it he gave me another day. I know it was Jesus. I know it was Jesus. I know it was Jesus. It was Jesus. Yeah. I know it was Jesus. Well, he made it possible. He made it possible. He made it possible. He made it possible. My God made it. He made it possible. My God made it. He made it possible. He woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. He didn't have to do it. He gave me another day. Do you trust him? Do you trust him? Do you trust him? Do you trust him? 
He made it possible. He made it possible. He made it possible. He made it possible. Cause there's nothing that he can't do. There's nothing he can't do. There's nothing he can't do. There is nothing he can't do. Praise team. There's nothing that he can't do. Yeah, there's nothing that he can't do. There's nothing my car can't do, yeah. There's nothing my car can't do, yeah. I got to trust him this morning. I got to trust him this morning. There's nothing he can't do, yeah. There's nothing he can't do, yeah. Well, he made it possible. He made it possible. My God made it. My God made it. My God made it. He made it. My God made it. My God made it. My God made it. My God made it. He made it possible. He made it possible. He made it possible. Thank God, Jesus, for making it possible. Thank you, Jesus, for making it possible. Yeah. Tell me who do you think woke you up early this morning? Nobody but Jesus. He made it possible. Oh, tell me who do you think started you on your way? Nobody but Jesus. Yes, so he made it possible. That's why we ought to serve him better. Oh, we ought to serve yeah, him better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Made it all possible. Praise the Lord. Uh, we can serve him better because he's done just that. Made it possible. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, praise team, for, uh, for that selection. Amen. Our text today comes out of the Gospel of John. John, Gospel of John, chapter 3, chapter 3, uh, we're going to begin reading uh, at uh, verse 29, chapter 3, John chapter 3, verse 29 is where we're going to start, amen. John chapter 3, verse 29. Out of the King James Version, and it says, He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that receives his tes testimony has set to his seal that God is true. For he whom God has sent speaketh the words of God. And for God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loveth the Son and hath given all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life and he that believeth not the son shall not see life but the wrath of God abideth on him thus ends the reading of God's word amen focusing on verse 30 he must increase but I must 
decrease. Uh, I want to use for a subject this morning, the less of me, the more of God. The less of me, uh, the more of God. The system of this world has taught us um, that we should strive for the increase of things that we desire to have in our lives. Uh, we have been told that the sky is the limit, uh, reach for the stars, go for the guts stole, desire the finer living of life, um, reach the top, go for yours, get it while the getting is good. And all of these idioms uh, sounds good, but they may not be the best advice for us all the time. Amen, amen. Sometimes, uh, these carnal suggestions leads us into more trouble, more frustration, and more failure in our lives than we bargained for. Amen. Amen. And sometimes we can want more in our lives than, than necessary. Amen. And God knows exactly what we need. Those of us who belong to the Lord have been created for his glory. We've been created for his glory. God made us to glorify him. Those who belong to the Lord. Amen. Isaiah 43 and 7 said, everyone who is called by my name, and God addresses Israel in this perspective. Everyone that is called by my name, I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him. Amen. For my glory, for my glory. God made Israel, uh, the whole nation, for his glory. And God has made us, amen, for his glory as well. And we have been made, amen, God's people through Jesus Christ. Amen. For my glory means that God is saying it's more about me than it is about you. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, sometimes we get that uh, mixed up. We get that kind of backwards, amen. And, and, but, but God, God knows, amen, that if, you were, if, if we were to give him glory, amen, he will focus on the one who gives the glory. But if you're trying to get his glory, you lose God's focus on, on you, amen, amen. Uh, the Lord says, I will not give my glory to another another God, another, another, another anything, or another anybody. Amen. Romans chapter 9, verse 20 and 21 says, uh, No, but, O man, who are you who replies against God? Shall the thing formed say to him who formed it, Why have you made me thus? Has not the potter over the clay? Of the same lump to make one vessel unto him honor and another unto him dishonor. In essence, uh, Paul is saying to the Romans believer here is that the potter possesses the power and not the clay. The potter is God and we are the clay. The potter possesses the power over us. Amen. We don't possess power. The clay, amen, is subject to the makings of the potter. Uh, we, we can't tell the potter how to make us. Amen, amen, amen. We, we are subject to, then, the makings of the potter. When, when, when the apostle Paul, when he was Saul, um, when he was converted, amen, to Jesus on the road to Damascus, when he was knocked off his animal and, God, and the Lord Jesus spoke to him, uh, uh, and told him where to go, amen. The, but the Lord told Ananias, amen, the prophet or the priest, for uh, Paul was a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and the king and the children of Israel. In other words, uh, God, the Lord was telling Ananias, 
uh, I made him. He, he might have been messed up. But I made him for me. Yeah, sometimes, you know, when, you know, all of us in here don't mess up. Don't hold your hand up. Uh, we, we've all messed up some way or another, but, but, but yet we were made, amen, for God's glory. Uh, don't let nobody, amen, cause you to stay back and set you back because you made a mistake here or there. God made it. You know, our mistakes, praise God, will cause us to focus on the Lord and, 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 and beg God for help. God has chosen all of us to participate in his kingdom. And, and Paul, Paul, Paul had to decrease in the law he had in him so that God could increase grace within him. So sometimes God got to tear us down and uh, re rebuild us. Anybody been there? God had to put you down. Amen. Set you down, knock you down so that he can redevelop. Amen. You and I. Amen. Uh, it has been said that humility is not denying the power you have. It, it is relying, uh, 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 relying or realizing uh, the po that power comes from the power source in our lives. Praise God. Amen. It doesn't come from us. It comes through us. Amen. From God. Amen. John the Baptist understood uh, his power and his purpose, and his purpose was to prepare the way of, of the Lord. That's what Matthew chapter 3, verse 3 says, uh, make, uh, make straight, make his path straight. Make his, John understood his purpose. His purpose was to prepare a way for the Lord, not be the Lord. Amen. And so he, he declared, John did, declared to others, I indeed baptize you with water, but there will come one after me. Amen. Praise God. And he comes after me, he says, he's mightier than I, in whose shoes I am not worthy, amen, to, to unloose. I'm not worthy to stoop down <laughs> and unloose, amen, his shoes or Amen. I, in, in other words, John had a spirit of humility. Amen. He, he said, I, I come to bear witness that he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. You find that in Matthew chapter 3, verse 11. In actuality, John was saying, uh, the greater has come. Amen. And I am the lesser, and I must decrease, and he must increase. Amen. The greater has come. Praise God. In our scripture, um, the gospel writer writes about the John, the gospel writer, writes about John the Baptist, of course. And uh, John's mother was Elizabeth, who was pregnant. I'm talking about John the Baptist. And John was six months older than Jesus. Amen. And, and God knows how to set up his purpose and plan in us for him. Amen. He know how to set it up. Amen. And, 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 and it was John the Baptist who said, praise God, I am the voice crying out in the wilderness, make straight the way of the Lord. John was a, a peculiar man, a peculiar person. He was not ordinary. Amen. And they experienced the Holy Ghost in the womb of their mother. Uh, of the mothers. Amen. 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 Praise God. And, and, and don't let nobody fool you. Praise God that God, you know, you can limit God in his action in your life. Amen. God can fill up you with the Holy Ghost anytime he feel like it. And here we find in the Bible that the Holy Ghost was working in the wombs of Mary and Elizabeth. Praise God. Amen. And so, so he was set up, amen, to go before Jesus Amen. Six months ahead of Jesus. Amen. And so John knew his purpose. He knew his purpose. And so uh, not to hasten, not to, not to uh, prolong us uh, today, but I want to tell you a few things that out of this uh, particular uh, scriptures here for our good, you know, uh, the less of me, the more of God. The less of me, the more of God. The first thing I want us to understand is the less of self, 
uh, and the more of the Savior, the less of self. We, we can be selfish folk. Amen. Um, I wish I had time to preach all of this, amen, that I have. I'm, I'm going to give you tidbits of it. Uh, and, and anybody uh, found out that they are selfish, don't hold your hand up. Don't, don't, do not hold your hand up in here. Uh, we, we, we all sometimes are selfish. We have selfish behaviors and selfish in, uh, tendencies in our lives. Amen. And sometimes selfishness can cause you to miss stuff. Uh, I'm going to move on now. Uh, John uh, uh, was, was, was baptizing people in the river of Jordan, and the Pharisees went to investigate John's baptism, and John's baptism was unusual. John the Baptist was an unusual man. He stayed away uh, from crowds, lived in the wilderness. He was out there eating on uh, locusts, amen, and honey out there, in the, and he had strange clothes out there. Uh, the Bible says he had strange clothes. He was a strange fella. Ain't nothing wrong with being strange in the Lord now. I ain't talking about I'm not talking about just being odd and awkward and eccentric in your behavior. You know, some folk intend to be strange. It's a selfish strange. I ain't fooling around with that. I ain't listen. They tell me get out my nerves. You know, they, they bother me. Now, that's a strange in a negative way. But John was strange for the Lord. Amen. And he came out the wilderness strange because he had a strange purpose, preparing the way of the Lord. In fact, Jesus says he was the greatest of the prophets. If you're going to be great for the Lord, you're going to be strange. You're going to be treated strange. Let me, let me move on from that. Praise God. And so John's baptism was unusual in his day, and he, he wasn't pouring. He was sprinkling. He was down in the river of Jordan, perhaps emerging people. I don't know. He was down in Jordan River. And on one occasion, praise God, Jesus asked the Pharisees, where did John's baptism come from? It's how strange he was. Amen. Sometimes when you strange figure, people trying to figure out you know, how come and why in your life. I'm not talking to anybody. Amen. When, when, you act, when you're strange and have a purpose and a plan that God has put in you, you're going to sometimes look strange, act strange, and be treated strangely by people. Can I talk to anybody up in here? Praise God. And don't worry when folks stop investigating your strange self. They start investigating your strange self. That means that you, amen, are fulfilling God's purpose and plan in your life. And folk won't understand all that God will take you through. It's okay to be strange in the Lord. And the religious people, they, they always ask questions. Religious people always ask questions about spiritual work. Amen. Religious people always need an answer for every reason, uh, for everything that's said and done. Hey, I, you tell me why. And tell me why, tell me why, tell me. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. And John gave one of the most distinct answers of the, of the difference between himself and Jesus Praise God. I, I baptized with water. I'm down in Jordan. But there will, there will come one who will have heavenly fire. Praise God. You can't, you can't see it, but you can feel it. Good God. Already. There's an old song that says, I can't see the Lord, but I can feel them all over me. Somebody said it's just like fire. That's what Jeremiah said. Anybody? ever felt that fire praise God won't it burn in your heart um, won't it make you dance sometimes man won't it make you clap your hands won't it praise God make you stump your feet 
Won't it bring tears out of your eyes? You can be all alone. Can I talk to somebody? That fire, praise God, will make you feel good. Even in bad times, I'm talking about fire, praise God. Even in the coldness of your living, fire. Good God Almighty. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Hey, 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 anybody run into Jesus? If you run into Jesus, there he is, fire. He comes to baptize. Yes. Good God. Lord have mercy. Woo. Yeah, John says, my, my, my eyes will, uh, I will wet you with water, but there's some fire that'll dry you up. Hallelujah. In other words, John was saying to his listeners, to the Pharisees and all that did not understood his purpose, he says, there's a better baptism coming. God, I'm, boy, I wish I could stay right there. I got a better baptism. Yeah, I was dipped in the water. But somebody told me, Carla, don't you go anywhere. For the Lord and preach the gospel without the fire. Can I get a witness? You gotta have it, praise God. You gonna do anything for the Lord that's significant, that's relevant, that's effective. You need fire. John decreased in his importance and yielded to the one who was the most important. It was a lesser self and a more, a more and more and more of the Savior. Less of self. Uh, the less of me, uh, the more of God. The, the, the less of my importance and the more of His. Good God Almighty. The, the less of my attitude and the more of His attitude. Hey, praise God. The less of self is an attitude that the presence of the Savior is in your life. It ain't about you no more. It's all about Jesus. Paul said it no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. Hey, good God Almighty. And the life I live, I live it for the Son of God. Good God Almighty, it's no longer I. That's, that's less of self and more of the Savior. Yeah, the less of self. The more of the Savior is what the church ought to be about. The church has gotten seemingly more important than Jesus. Can I, can I say it that way? Praise God. But I, I remember the words of Jesus. He said, if I be lifted up. If you talk about me just a little bit more. If you tell the world what I've done, you let people know that I am the Redeemer. Tell them that I'm the elderly brother. Good God Almighty. Tell that I'm the kinsman Redeemer. Tell them I'm the Rose of Sharon. Lily of the Valley. The bright and the morning star. Tell the world that I'm Mary's little baby. Yes. Talk about me. I'll do the draw. Ah. The church seems to get more have gotten more important than Jesus. That's why we can't draw nobody. Lord have mercy. Let me move on from that.
praise God. Uh, the pronoun, I, I, I. I, coupled with the phrase, must decrease. I, amen. Uh, John uses it in a humble way. I must decrease. Praise God. I should never be more important than him. Lord, help me, God. There, there shall always be a less self in us. Uh, humility. Amen. Praise God. I ought to be in the believers. Hey, the practice of less self and, and the more of the saviors, the le less of self-centeredness and more of Christ-centeredness, the less of secularism and more of sanctification. Uh, that's your, you know, function in your less self is to give in to the greater self in you. Greater is he that is in you. You got to be in you. When he gets in you, you'll find out, praise God, that you're going to yield to the greater. Can I? John says, I'm going to yield to the greater. The greater is coming. Good God Almighty, Lord have mercy. When the greater comes, your less self must decrease. Your important self. Your significant self, your all that self, your proud self, your relevant self, your serious self about yourself, it got to go away, praise God. But when the greater comes, yeah, yeah, your legalistic self must give way. Praise God to the liberty of God. Your popular self must yield to the power of progress. God, I reckon. Praise the Lord. Yeah, left, less of self uh, will mean and produce more of the Savior. Amen. Secondly, uh, less of me, more of God is the less of my thinking and the more of godly thinking. Jesus said, uh, praise God, he who comes after me, amen, must uh, pick up his uh, uh, or her cross and follow me. Uh, if you're going to follow me, you're going to have to think like me. Uh-huh. Oh, my God, I ain't got time to, to unload all of that. John said of Jesus, he who comes from above is above all. He who comes uh, from heaven is above all. He who is of the earth, as us, is earthly. John was saying, I'm earthly. Jesus is heavenly. Heaven, when heaven comes, earth got to back up. <laughs> Listen, when the divine come, dirt must sit down. John is saying, can I, I, can I preach it like I feel? John is saying, holiness and cleanliness is coming. And so I'm going to set my dirty self down. Y'all ain't going to handle it. Y'all can't. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, he who is, he, he who comes from above is above all. And he who is earth is earthly and speaks of earth. He that comes from heaven is above all. He speaks from heaven's position. God Almighty, Lord have mercy on you. Jesus came to put on our minds heaven. Praise God. He was in heaven before he came. And the Bible lets us know that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Been there. That's what Jesus said. That's what John was saying about Jesus. He's been there. John the Baptist knew it. Hallelujah. It was Jesus who said, I am the bread that came down 
from heaven. John 6 and 41. I am come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me, Jesus says. John 6 and 38. Jesus brought heaven's reality to earth. You can't know heaven without Jesus. You, you can't get there without him. He brought heaven's power. I said he brought heaven's power to the earthly realm so that you and I can grab this power and overcome every earthly attack. Can I get a witness in here? Praise God. You got to get a hold of heaven to defeat your earthly adversaries. I'm trying to tell somebody something up in here. Praise God. I am come down. I come to bring power come to bring revelation I come to bring understanding I come to bring grace I came I came to bring mercy I came to bring forgiveness I came to bring redemption I came to bring but praise God power that will deliver and set free I came I came to set the captives free I, I came that you might have life more abundantly I came to bring something from heaven I came I came I came to bring healing I came to bring a new way I came to bring a new life I came to bring a new beginning I came to bring you Good God Almighty I came to bring it to earth John was saying I gotta move my earthly self so I can get a little bit of this heaven. We need to move sometime our earthly self out the way. Get your dusty self out the way. If y'all been like me, I can talk to me now. I can't talk to you. I had to get my dirty self. Oh, God. Uh, don't hold your hand. Have anybody been dirty? Don't you hold your hand. I can't hold my hands up. I've been dirty. It, it, I had to have some heaven coming my way so I could, God can clean up my daddy's self. Good God Almighty. God, I wish I could stay right there, but I'm going to move on. I want to tell you how dirty I've been. Lord, have mercy. Good God Almighty. Dirty up with sin. Yes, good God Almighty. What can wash me? White as snow. Nothing. Can I get a witness in here? Nothing. What can make me whole again? What can get that dirt off of me? God Almighty. Nothing but the blood. Lord have mercy. God, I reckon. Uh, John said, Jesus testified what he heard, what he seen in heaven. But he says, a lot of people don't believe. John says, I believe. And, and listen, when there's too much earth in us, there will be no, there will be less room, let me put it that way, for heaven. I said, when there's too much earth in us, there'll be less room for heaven. It's, it's, listen, let me move on now. Listen, stop sweeping it under the rug. Uh huh. So some of us sweeping it under the rug. Y'all know how to, you know, when you, when you have company, you, you try to clean up real fast. And, yeah, move that out the way, move that, they coming. <laughs> Get that broom and sweep that up under the there. <laughs> Y'all know, trying to get your dust rag and rubbing all, trying to get it <laughs> all on the TV stand and everywhere. <laughs> Better clean that door up, that door look dirty. <laughs> we all been there. Uh, we, we. We all, we, we need to clean up the dirt. Go watch it. Be careful, I'm gonna leave that right. You can't be covering that dirt up because when you, when you, the Lord, the Lord, listen, this scripture and I call it, the Lord says, I don't come in unclean temple. See the earth, I mean the world, the church done forgot that. I'm 
move on now. That's that's tough. And he said, I don't I don't barely unclean nothing. You talking about a holy God? You talking about a holy spirit? You talking about a holy Savior? Jesus, thank God, He came to clean us up. Praise God! And when He does that, power comes in. Uh, let me move on. Oh, praise the Lord! Praise God! When the Pharisees addressed Jesus about the truth of Himself, He told them, "If God were your Father, you would." You will love me. If God were your father, you will love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me, John 8 and 42. Jesus was saying, I ain't from here. I was sent here. Amen. I ain't from here. I was sent here. Amen. I, I, in other words, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, and you believe me not. John 8 and 44. Too much earth is uh, uh, is is a defense against heaven it, uh, too much earth in us will defend against heaven the carnal will fight the spirit the religious will fight the born again the unrighteous will fight the righteous the unholy will fight the unholy Praise God. Amen. So if you find, oh, let me move on. Uh, too, too many today uh, sometimes seemingly are too earthly minded to accept heaven's realities. I wish I had time to preach that. I know y'all getting hungry now. You're getting around about 12. Uh, I'm going to let you go in a minute. But we tend to focus too much on our surroundings rather than our salvation. Amen. That. Listen, all the devil wants you to do is look around you and focus on that. But focus on your salvation. You've been bought. You've been redeemed. You belong to heaven. Heaven belongs to you. You have access to heaven. You have power. You have prayer. Praise God. You are anointed. You got the word of God. You got the blood. You under the covenant. Praise God. You, praise God, are operating under heaven's. We got heaven's property. Let me move on. Praise God. We, and so we tend to be too sad about our earthly situations rather than heaven's liberation. Don't let your sadness dominate you. The, the devil can get you down and up. And he'll try to keep you there. That's why a lot of folk bail out of life. Because he overwhelms them with sadness and sorrow and gloom and, and hopelessness. And you ain't going to make it and you shouldn't make it. And you should bail out right now, praise God. Leave them behind. Come join me. Mm. The Apostle Paul encouraged the Colossians believers to keep uh, their minds on the things above, not on the things of earth. Uh, Colossians 3 and 2. Too, too often we think too earthly. While being heaven citizens. I'm a citizen of heaven. Praise God. I, I, I read about it. I talk about it. I think about it. I want to go there. I'm praying to get there. I'm living to get there. Heaven's on my mind. This world is not my home. I'm just sojourning through. I'm just passing through. Praise God. And every, while we're sojourning through, we pick up a friend here and there. You got about two or three and you want them to come in and listen along with you and even family. We want folk to go to heaven. I'm on my way to heaven. Praise God. I ain't got time to be thinking about what the world does. Too often the church pay more attention to the world and allow the world to make decisions for the church. You are no longer thinking heavenly. You're thinking earthly. You're thinking socially. Praise God. God is telling us to get our minds on heaven again. Put your mind on heaven again. Keep your mind off the negativities. Quit being pessimistic and become optimistic in your living. Praise God. Uh, don't worry about your fears. Fears will cause you to fail. Put your mind on faith, not fear. We have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 2 and 16. Start 
thinking godly. Stop thinking about yourself all the time. Thank God. Everybody in here think about themselves a lot. Me too. You know, I used to, I'm old now. I'm, I'm getting older now. I used to, I still care about how I look. I don't leave the house all kind of way. <laughs> you know, so I think about sometimes how I look and how I'm going to present myself. And uh, my wife, children, St. Stephen, any other church, the Lord. You, you want to, you think about yourself enough to keep yourself in order. So you, do, I ain't telling you don't think about yourself. Amen. You know when you, you know, stop thinking, thinking about yourself? When you wear the same clothes five days a week. <laughs> you ain't thinking about yourself no more. You've, some people might not have them, but, one, but if you got men more, you got, oh God. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone. Stop thinking, overthinking. Don't overthink. Who in here, I'm, I'm going to finish this, who in here always overthinking? Overthink all the time. I know y'all scared to hold your hand up. All of y'all do. And when you overthink, you think wrong. And overthinking, it, it, it trends into paranoia. Uh -huh. See, a lot of y'all ain't going to admit that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I used to think, and sometimes the devil caused me to overthink. Amen. Let me move on. Stop overthinking and start thinking about heaven. So when I start overthinking, I have to cast down those imaginations. Amen. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. I said, I start thinking about the law. The devil will interject bad thoughts in your head. Stuff you used to do. Stuff you shouldn't have done. St stuff you want to do. So when that stuff come up, you know, and the devil be telling you, say that to her. Say that to him. Next time you see him, say that to him. Call him. Uh-huh. Y'all playing with me, but I ain't playing. I know what the, the devil interjects that in your head. And you know, you you been getting you getting ready to do, huh? And then you start, no, that ain't right. The, see the Lord had, you know the, the oh God, I'm taking up your time. You know. <laughs> There's always a war going on. Uh for who has known the mind of the Lord that they may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ, Paul says. We have, you, you got to start thinking, thinking Christ-like. We, we, we use the slogan, what, what, what would Jesus do? We always use that and we wear that. Or, you know, we had the bands on and the shirt and all that kind of thing. They ain't thinking nothing about what Jesus <laughs> Want somebody to think you thinking like that. But when it's time to act like that. Talking about what would Jesus do? You ain't thought about that long enough. Praise God. Jesus' mind was always on the Father's will. Yeah. Less of uh, an earthly mind means more of a heavenly mind. I'm moving on. Last thing. Less of my living and more of godly living. He that believeth on the Son has everlasting life, and he that believeth not. The son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. And in, in John states that believing on Jesus gives to the believer everlasting life. Less of my living and more of godly living. Believing is, is, is picking up your... Listen, if you're going if, if to believe God, you got to live like God wants you to believe. You, you believe. you got to live like you believe what you believe. We have lived our lives like we wanted to before we met Christ. Now, I know I had me some fun. Y'all did, too. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a good friend the other day, and we were talking, we were sharing our yesteryears. Uh, we were wild, wacky, and crazy, and we were talking about how we enjoyed sin. I enjoyed it. See, y'all ain't going to admit that. Some of y'all still enjoying it. I enjoyed living out there. 
I, you know, and I made a decision. I said, you know, if I don't come in now, boy, you talking about a fool. Mm -hmm. If you don't hurry up and get away from the devil, he will destroy you. That's what I'm talking about. You got to, you got to be running. That song said, I'm running for my life. You got to run from the... Yeah from that kind of living. You got to put it down. I told him, I made a decision. Amen. I made a decision. Listen, I, I know I'm taking up your time, but that's all right. I ain't charging y'all now. Um, you know, I told a friend, you know, we were, you know, y'all excuse me. I just go back a little bit. Uh, I, I was, I was, I told him, I said, this is my last one, man. Y'all said, last one of what? Last one of everything. <laughs> No, man. I said, yeah, bro, this is the last night I'm getting drunk, bro. <laughs> this is my last half a pint, buddy. You better enjoy me now, because I, I said, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. Folk got to get sick of this. And you got to make a statement. You got to make a declaration. You got to say, you know what, this is it. And you got to tell your adversary, you got to tell your friends who wants you out there in the world, this is it. Sick of living like this. The devil is beating on me. I can't get nothing going. I look bad in the face. Praise God. One eye white and one eye red. Something going on. <laughs> hey, can't get enough to eat. <laughs> Just tearing up everything. Just eating everything. Lord have mercy. Let me move on. Huh? I'm going to stop right there. I ain't, ain't going to mess it Listen, less of our living, my living, my, and more of godly. I had to change. Amen. Less of the world's living, less of the world's rhetoric in our lives. Praise God. Amen. Jesus is it. John was saying to us, he's still saying it. Praise God. I must decrease. You, you put that in you today. I must decrease and he must increase. It's got to be less of me and more of him. Praise God. It's got to be less of what I want and more of what God's want. It's less of my living and more of God's living. Praise God. It's less of what the world wants me to do and more of what God wants me to do. Praise God. It's less of me and more of him. It's him. It's him. Praise God. John was saying, praise God, make way, make room for heaven's presence in your life. I am not what I ought to be, but I'm trying. Somebody feel like that today. I am not what I ought to be. Lord, I'm trying Every time I think that I'm right There is someone Thinking I'm wrong But that's what I pray Oh, Lord You know my heart I'm trying. Sometimes I have to say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, do it for me. Oh, oh Lord, oh Lord. Might have been like that. You had to steal away and say, Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, do it for me, my Lord. Oh, do it for me, do it for me right now. I have to 
They may be trying, trying very hard, but I, I want you to cast your cares upon the Lord. Listen, there's nothing too hard for the Lord to do, and you know. And, and if you want to begin to decrease in yourself, pray that prayer. Say, Lord, less of me, more you, and watch things start happening in a positive way in your life. Oh, don't think that the devil's going. You know hold his head down and walk away and just let you go uh, he's gonna round up and he's gonna try to aggravate you and frustrate you and turn you around but but if you just hold on to Jesus hand hold on to your confession hold on to your declaration hold on to your profession hold on to your prayer life hold on to the Word of God hallelujah praise God the devil will leave you alone. Give your, give your heart, give your, give your life to the Lord. Praise God. You may not be all you need to be. Nobody is. Everybody's striving toward perfection. We are all being sanctified. Hallelujah. We all be, if you belong to the Lord, if you have confessed Jesus as Lord of your life, you believe you're saved and born again, you belong to the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. And as Jesus told the devil himself, you have no part in me. That's when you have purged yourself of the devil and every evil word. There might be somebody today that wants to give their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. You haven't done it. You had not confessed with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. You have not confessed it publicly. People don't know you're a Christian. Praise God. You got to start doing that. You got to start saying. You got to start telling other people you, if you hadn't done it yet, praise God. You need to confess to him publicly. He said, if you're afraid or ashamed to confess me before people, I'll be ashamed to own you before my Father which is in heaven. I want to tell you, praise God, what a program, what a divine program that Jesus has given to all of us. If that we just confess and believe in him and accept him, and save you. Hallelujah. There's a there's a there's a salvific program that's everlasting. What a bargain. You don't have to die on the cross. All you got to do is get on your knees. You ain't even got to do that. You can drive your car and say, Lord, I accept you. Be in your kitchen, mowing the lawn, cutting wood. I don't care what you do. But you can stop and say, Lord. I yield. I give my heart to you, Jesus. I now belong to you. Whatever you want me to do, whatever you want me to be, I'll be that. I'm talking to anybody by virtue. If that's you, confess the Lord. Everybody in here, if you want to join the church today, we offer that opportunity as well. God bless you. If you want to be a part of this church family, we. We gonna serve the Lord up in here, up in here, up in here. You go tell the world, say, Steve, we gonna serve the Lord. I don't care, come hell or high waters, we gonna serve the Lord up in here. It's gonna be about Him, not about us. Hallelujah. You go tell him, Carter said that. Hallelujah, I'm going to stand still <laughs> and see the salvation of the Lord. I'm going to stand on the word. I'm going to be steadfast and immovable. 
always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going where he's sent me and I'm going to say what he told me. I'm sold out. I'm, I'm all his now. No longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. It's less a Carter now, more of Christ. Good God, I'm here now. Father, we just come to thank you and bless your name for being you. Thank you for sending heaven our way in Jesus. He's the way, the truth, the life. He's the bread. He's the light of the world. He's the way, the gate, the door. He's the good shepherd. He's Lord of Lord, King of Kings. He's the potent King. Good God Almighty. He's everything. He's our all in all. Whatever you need, He is that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, we give you thanks for Jesus. We give you thanks for Jesus. We give you thanks for Jesus. We give you thanks for the Lord. Thank you for John the Baptist who was brave enough, bold enough, bad enough to prepare a way for the Savior of the world. Make path, straight the path. Oh, what a purpose. What a prophet. What a plan. God, somebody needs you today very much. Somebody need a touch from you. Somebody need deliverance. Somebody need hope. Somebody need to be cared about. Somebody, Lord, need to be held by you and held by others. Oh, God, somebody need to experience love today. Love, love, love. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to be forgiven and somebody needs to forgive. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we all need hope. We live in a chaotic, crazy world. But you told us this was coming, and it's going to intensify. The world won't get better, but heaven is here. And all that is in heaven, all that's in the kingdom of God, praise God, we are shielded and protected from every evil and danger. And God, we pray that you open the gates wide that others may come in. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any person open the door, I will come in. I will come in, Jesus said, and sup with you. I want to, in, in other words, Jesus said, I want to have a relationship, an association, fellowship with you. Praise God. So I can cause you to decrease in yourself so I can increase in you. God, we thank you. We thank you for increase today. We will increase in you. Less of us and more of you. Less of us. Hallelujah. And more of you. Less of our thinking and more of your thinking. Less of our living and more of your kind of living. This is our prayer. This is our plea today. Hear our prayers, God, and let not these words, let not these prayers fall to the earth. But let them transcend to heaven. Because we know when it gets there. Hallelujah. Heaven will work on earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank you. In Jesus' name, hear our prayers. Amen and amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to um, continue our worship service. We, today, we have not had uh, communion yet this month. And uh, so I chose today, and I hope you are ready for it. I, I think our communion stewards and ushers are ready for that today. And um, have everybody received their communion cup wafers? Okay.
know his value. Oh, the blood that gives me strength from day to Rebecca Harrison uh, and anybody else that is going through a time of afflictions in their lives let's lift them up in prayer prayer line um, uh, there's an open line to God all the time amen so it doesn't matter when you pray just pray amen doesn't matter where you are, pray. God didn't put a time limit on prayer. I thank God for that. He tell you, pray five minutes. Mm -mm. Just whisper a prayer. It'll do you some good. God Almighty, you ain't got time to kneel down all the time. Just pray and walk. Walk and pray. Ride and pray. Sit down and pray. Stand up and pray. Pray, God, just pray. Lord, I thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank God we, uh, we uh, visited. Yes, ma'am. Thank, thank uh, the ushers back there. God bless you. The praise team, the musicians, our worship leaders, to Reverend Abrams and Sister Abrams, to God, all of you. Uh, visitors, you got any visitors? We ask any visitors. Yes, sir. Will you tell us who you are? Good morning. Good morning. Trinity, bless you. Bless you, Brother Jameson. Thank you for coming our way today. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You're doing some renovation down there in Trinity, right? Yes. Amen. 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 God bless you. Uh, let me know when it's finished. I want to just, I want to be nosy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Any other visitors? Anybody else? Yes. Jemison Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Amen. God bless you, brother. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you. Amen, amen. If all uh, hearts are on one accord, God bless you. Everything's good, everything's well. There is a meeting this evening with Sage 530 by Zoom. Amen, amen. And, uh, all of you people who were for the Los Angeles Chargers, is that the Chargers last night? That was the Chargers. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, let us stand, please.
by faith, not by sight. May he be an increase in your life. May he bless you in your going and your coming. Bless you in the city and in the field. May he cause you to be the head and not the tail. Now we'll have a threefold.